Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I started the recording too, and I'll share today's and yesterday's recording to in YouTube, and I'll give you the access today, and we'll continue the class. Yesterday, as discussed, that we're going to start the topic like arrays. I mean, the arrays we are discussing today is one D array, two D array, and jagged array, and disadvantages of the array, and collections, the list of collections like stack, queue, array list, list dictionary, and one more loop that we need to discuss today's class is for each loop. Am I right? Now, yeah. I'll ask you a simple question to all of you. See, all of you, if I want to declare ten integer variables, what you people need to do? Int a, int b, c, d, e, like this. We need to declare ten variable names. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Correct. See, if you want to declare hundred variables, so you need to take a to z and a one to z one, and you know. That means 26 plus 26 is, uh, you know, 52. And along with that, A1 to Z1 and A2 to Z2, like this, we need to declare the values, am I right? See, if I have the values from A to Z and A1 to Z1 and A2 to Z2, if I want to loop those, it is not possible, right? There is no chance of looping the values like this. So, if you want to display 100 values, you need to write console dot right line of A, B, C, D from A1 to Z1 and again A2 to Z2. That means 100 lines of code we need to write to display all those values. Correct? Yes. So, if you want to read the value also, we need to write 100 lines of code only. Reading for reading 100 lines of code and to displaying 100 lines of code, if any modification is there in the value, again, what all the values that need to modify, that also leads to 100, value, 100 uh, lines of code and what are the new values are there to display them, those, those also will be leads to the more lines of code. <clears throat> so there is no reusability. Okay, if the, if, the, if the values are unique, or if the values are not having any relationship like this, there is no chance of looping those values. So other than this, if you are taking an array, okay, array in the sense other than like this A, B, C, D, we are taking A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, A of 3, Okay, A of 4, like this. Okay, A of 3 and A of 4. Like, come again. Let's see here, all of you. Whenever you are seeing the 0 to 1 to 0 to 4, the values are incrementing, right? So, I can take like this for int i is equal to 0, int i is equal to 0, am I right? Int i is equal to 0, i less than 5 and i plus plus. What will happen at that time? See, I am trying to display the values console dot right line of A of i and this coach. Kada. Simple, am I right? What is i value? 0. A of 0 in the sense what? This. Again, A of 1 in the sense this. So the for loop is helping us to write those many lines of code, right? There is a relationship between one value to other value. See here, the value here is 0, the value here is 1, 2, 3, 4. Here there is no relationship like this, E of 0, E of 1 like this, though there is no relationship like this. To, 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 to make the relationship between one value to another value and to, to make them easy to loop and to make them easy to identify with the well, with the help of the indexes, I mean, that is what possible with the help of arrays, okay? Coming to arrays, all the values, all the values, see, all the five values now are stored with the variable name is what? A, okay? The values are going to store with different indexes, that's it. Different indexes of that variable. Different indexes of the same variable. What is the name of the variable here? Need to be interactive in the class, all of you. What is the name of the variable? A, am I right? So, what all the indexes are available? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, am I right? Mm -hmm. So, different indexes of the same variable, the variable name is A, the indexes would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, clear? So, this is how, this is how we can able to, this is how we can able to loop them with the help of the indexes, the variable name is say, uh, same as A. So, if you are taking a other than arrays, if you are taking normal variable names, the variable names are different, am I right? There is no relationship like this, the same variable name with different indexes. So, like this, variables, if you want to loop it, it is not possible at all. So, here, coming to the arrays, for all the values, the same variable name with the, the values will going to be uh, make unique with themselves with the help of the index that is available in the array, okay? The index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and all those things. See, Whatever the index we are thinking that, index that always starts with uh, 0, the index always starts with 0, that is what we are calling as the lower boundary of an array. What is the lower boundary? That is always 0. 
what is the upper boundary in the sun so if you am giving the size of the array as a 5 the upper boundary would be size minus 1 so what is the size i am telling you people here 5 i am right 5 minus 1 is what 4 so the, the upper boundary would be 4 the upper boundary we can able to calculate with the help of the size minus 1 the size minus 1 in the sense that is 4 that is what we are calling as a upper boundary clear the lower boundary and upper boundary okay now observe here all of you we'll just do the simple example now listen i want to create an array that can store five values okay five values i want to store in an array the syntax how it look like we'll see okay int of a is equal to new int of five and you know one two three four five now observe here all of you what is the variable name here Yeah. yeah, the variable a yeah will be of type what or what type of array it is? Integer, right? What is the data type here? Integer. That's what. See, a normal variable how we can declare like this, right? If you are having like this, a yeah is a type of integer array. A is a type of integer array. that can capable of storing five values understood the definition again i am telling you a is a array of type integer that can be able to store five values the five values whatever we are go, we are going to store that we are giving here those are 1 2 3 4 5 clear understood all of you yes ardha mai namo so how to get the a of first one value What is the lower boundary? Now, what is the lower boundary? Lower boundary always zero. I told you, right? What is the upper boundary? That is size minus one. What is the size of an array here? Five. So size minus one in the sense? Four. Four. So what all the indexes would be possible now? Zero, one, two, three, four. Am I right? What is the a of zero now? What is the first value? One. Right. What is the a of one? What is the first first index value? Two. Correct. A of two in the sense three. A of three in the sense four. A of four in the sense that is five. Clear? Any doubt in this? From here to here, any one of you? Any doubt in this? No ma'am. Now listen here. We'll see now. now you people tell me i need to create an array that can capable of storing 10 integer values how to create the array tell me now integer aha uh -huh. and then integer yes new what is the size i am telling array. you here 10 10 Right, I am taking the values like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. What is the size we are seeing now? Ten values. Am I right? Now, for loop, from where to where we need to take now? What is the lower boundary? Zero. Zero. So upper boundary would be nine. Yeah, nine in a sense. I need to take equal to. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. So if I am taking ten. What will happen? So directly less than ten, less than ten in the sense still nine it will work. Am I right? Comes to mind. Yeah. So console dot write line of a of five. Okay, a of five. Correct. Shall we see the now? Shall we see this now? See one two ten it came. Now I'll ask you a question to you people. I want to display whatever you people need to do. You come tell me. I want to display sum of all. indexes what i need to do now i want to sum from all the values that are present in an array simple how to do it any one of you make it fast how to perform the sum now Uh, using for loop, uh, we can iterate through all the array values yes. and then do a summation. Yes. So shall I take the value? Where sum is equal to zero. For int i is equal to zero, i less than ten, and i plus plus. 
each and every time sum is equal to sum plus a of i am i right this is what you are telling yeah so what is the value of a of mm -hmm. one a of, so, so what is the value of i now zero right first a of zero one again a of one a of two a of three till a of ten am i right so each and every time the value will going to store in the variable that is what sum am i right so whatever the total sum value is there that will going to store in this sum variable and we are displaying it okay clear see the sum is 1 to 10 is 55 am i right other than doing this much of code see we are having simply the array array for the arrays we have the predefined methods that is sum got it ardhamothu namma so we can take either into sum result is equal to like this simple it will it will give you like this but other than working with this the predefined methods if you are writing the logic like this this would be helpful am i right in the us interviews they won't ask you the predefined methods like this they are asking the logic how to make the total sum okay now take the screenshot of this make it fast along with this oh, we have only discussed the sum value right along with this sum we have so many other things also like if i'm taking a a right we have the sum and you know if i if i want to take the value from which particular index we have take okay i mean to copy from array for array value array from array values entire array values from one array to other array array dot copy in there and the values here is they are in ascending order only right 1 to 10 if the values we are giving in jumbling way like 1 5 2 4 3 1 something like this if you want to arrange them in ascending order okay array dot uh, sort method is there okay array dot sort method is there see what values you are sorting now the array name is what a okay that will going to return you the sorted sorted array okay like this we have so many predefined methods today's task for you people is you just go through this array dot what all the methods are available okay what is the value that is available in a particular particular index okay so so many methods are there okay just go through it binary search what is the meaning of binary search try to understand it okay and uh, what is the meaning of copy copy is also most important and uh, you know index of is important try to just go through this all these things array dot and uh, you see all the methods that are available here along with this just try to take here like this array dot what is the name of an array here a a dot a dot what all the values are available here sum we have seen about the sum right as of now just go through all these things sum what is the maximum value that is present in an, in this array that is 10 what is the minimum value that is present in this array that is 1 okay what is the length of an array that is 10 okay what is the what is try to understand what is the difference between long length and length okay that is also a question for you people and uh, try to see what all the methods that are available here okay now now what i am trying to tell you people is here it is giving you the all the predefined methods right like this you know a dot array dot sort array dot length array dot minimum value array dot maximum value see what see minimum maximum and you know finding the value that is available or not finding the value that is available or not and uh, one more is minimum maximum and the length and uh, we can able to see the sum these all the things first use and one more is we have seen sort also right sort okay try to find try to do all these things first time with methods predefined methods okay the next question what i'm trying to give you is how to write the program other than using how to write the program how to write the program other than using predefined methods write the program other than using predefined methods that also you people try to be focus on today's class first one is first use the predefined methods see the output how it is coming the next next task is for one method try to write the uh, try to build the logic by yourself how to do it among the available list of values or how to find the minimum value try to build the logic for that clear understood all of you any questions here hello take the screenshot and just make it fast all of you 
what happened yesterday you people have completed the task what i have whatever i have given no answer hello yes yeah yesterday whatever the task i have given is it completed all of you no yeah yeah completed kalyani yeah please try Listen. to share it and prudvi for you today is the only one day we are we are, we are allowing you from monday um, see whatever the task i'm giving you you need to complete it okay and even okay. yesterday night i had a discussion with rajiv regarding this okay manoj what about you yes ma'am i completed okay please try to share this uh, man you know programs whatever you yeah. did before the class so that i'll check it okay yeah yeah take the screenshot of this and today's task is finding the minimum value maximum value finding the a value that is there in the array or not and finding the length and sum and sort with the help of predefined methods and the the programs please try to write a method by yourself like you know how we are finding the I mean sum the same we try to find the maximum value minimum value and length and all those things okay see simple example how to find the length tell me all of you other than using this a dot length will going to give you 100% the length value am i right mm -hmm. see how to find the length in the for loop we can take right we can take the i mean you know uh, value for we, we will loop like this see int i is equal to 0 and int i is less than 10 and again see here all of you here i will take int length will take here length we will take here the first time it is 0 and the next time the value of the length will become length is equal to length plus 1 am i right so that will going to give you the total length of an array right so you people try to display this mm -hmm. so, so the length of the array would be the length is the variable that is length like this how to find the minimum value maximum value sort okay try to do the program like this and try to share me once you have done okay now we will see the other uh, other things see whatever the array type we have discussed like you know here 1 2 5 the values will going to store like this these five values will going to store like this 1 2 and 3 4 5 these all the five values are in a same line if you want to create a 2d array the 2d array in a sense like this i want to store 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 and 7 8 9 okay how many rows are available here three rows am i right three how many columns are available three, three columns three. okay as i told you index always starts with zero right so shall i tell can i tell that this is the zeroth index row this is the first index row and this is the second index row am i right yeah now listen now listen all of you so coming to the column also this is the zeroth column and this is the first column this is the second column am i right <coughs> so how to get the value of i what is the index of i which row it is first row and which column it is first column am i right so here see this is the first row and column wise this is the first column So one and one, am I right? How to get the value of seven? Any one of you? One. Uh, no. Three. Sorry, no. three and one. No. Two and zero, right? Two and one. One, two and one. No. Two and zero. Two and zero. Two and one. What is yeah, the row here? Two. What is the column? Zero. So shall I, can I take here as two and zero? So tell me all of you how to get the value of four. One two. Zero and two. Yes. Zero and two. How to get the value of four? Any one of you? Zero one. Sorry, one zero. Right. One of you tell me how to get the value of nine. Nine. Uh, two and two. Yes. Nice. Prudvi, you tell me how to get the value of eight. Hello. 
is on mute hello fine uh, shravanti you tell me how to get the value of 8 uh, 2 comma 1 yes yeah the same way we can take that the 1 would be at 0 and 0 am i right clear 0 at index 0 yes. at row and 0 at column also and how to get the value of 2 in the sense that is 0 comma 1 am i right yeah now coming to the 6 the 6 would be coming from first row second column correct so whenever you people are going here whenever whenever you people are going here see in the first row the row index would be 0 0 0 am i right whenever you are going see whenever you are going to see this uh, second one 1 1 1 1 third one would be 2 2 2 so coming to the column the first column the column index would be 0 0 0 the first column column index would be 1 1 1 the second column column index would be 2 2 2 clear now this is what we are calling as a two dimensional array how to write the array program how to loop this we will going to see now this is bit complicated need to be understand very clearly see here 1d array in the sense it would be like this right 2d array in the sense we need to take comma here clear comma a is equal to new int of 3 comma 3 so the values are like this see the first row would be having the values 1 2 3 and the second row would be calling having the values like 4 5 6 and the third row would be having the values like 7 and 8 and 9 clear now see well see you now all of you See here, int of a is equal to int of a is equal to new int of three comma three, three comma three. Correct. Now here I'm passing the values one comma two comma three and four comma five comma six and seven comma eight comma nine. Clear? Till now it is clear all of you. Any doubt in this? See, this is the first row. Am I right? This is the first row. This is the second row. and this is the third row am i right now we yeah. will see how to loop these things okay we will see how to loop these things now observe here all of you very carefully this part is bit difficult isn't here see first we are taking for int i is equal to 0 i less than 3 okay clear now again the same here i am taking one more for loop the j and here i'm taking as less than 3 okay see what are the possible values for i now 0 and 1 and 2 am i right please please be responsive now what is the values of i here 0 1 and 2 am i right for the same way the j value is also 0 1 2 am i right yes. now see the logic what i'm trying to write i'm taking console dot write not write line right in the sense it will going to append the values in the same line here i am displaying the value a of i comma j clear now see now here i am taking console dot right see observe here all of you very carefully what is the value of i now zero right first time what, what is the value of i zero zero correct so what is the what is the value of j first time zero so zero zero ante enta ma ikkada First. So you are displaying the one, am I right? Yeah. Again, the value of j would be inner for loop will going to increment first. So what is the value of j now? Zero plus one is what? One. So what is the value of i? One. Zero. What is the value of j? One. Zero one and ten. Two. So we are displaying two. The value of two here. No, manos. It is two. The value is two. So The value of j will again increment. The value of j would be one plus one is two. So i is zero, j is two. Zero and two is what? Four. Yeah. Here we we will take as three because it would be in the order one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we are going to display the value of three. Am I right? Now the what is the value of j? Two plus one is what? Three. Three less than three. The condition is true or false? False. So whenever the condition is false, it will come outside of this loop. Okay, 
it will come outside of this loop and it will it will become console dot write line in the sense the cursor would be moved from one two three line to another line. Okay. Yeah. Now what is the value of i now? That is zero, right? Zero plus one will become what? One. Okay. Again the j value will start from zero. So one zero is what? And again, the J value will become as one. One one is what? Five. Five. Okay. Again, the value of J would become as two. So one two is what? Six. Six. Again, the J value will become three. The condition would be fail, and again it will increment the for loop. The for loop value will be one now, and here the value will I value of the upper for loop will become as two. The J value again starts from from zero. Two zero two one two two. Okay, so two zero two one two two in the sense seven eight nine. Clear? Any yeah. questions in this? Any one of you? Any questions there in this? No. Any questions in this? Please try to understand this logic. I'll give two minutes of time. Try to understand this logic. Here I have some questions to ask you people. Try to understand this logic first. Clear? Yes. Now see, I am trying to run this. The output will come. There is no problem. Now I'll ask you a question for you people. Is I want to display as of now we have displayed the values like this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, seven, eight, and nine. Now my question is, I want to display the values like this. Okay, one, one, two, and one, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, and like this. One, two, three, four, and five. How to do this? Try to understand that. E program we got them. I think you people can able to build this. Hundred percent, I'm sure. Can we start now, all of you? Yeah. The logic behind this. Can we start now? Now, whenever you are seeing this, what is the first? This is the first row, am I right? How many values are available in the first row? Five. First row, any values? And I am only one value that is available in the first row, right? In the second row, how many values are there? Two values. Two. Coming to the third row, how many values are there? Three. Three. Same way, four and five also, right? Yeah. Now, uh, please listen here very carefully. We'll see how to do that. Taking the screenshot of this program, every one of you. Completed. Yeah. We'll see now. Now observe here. Here I am taking. Again I am telling you, upper for loop would be upper for loop would be for rows, and then you know, inner for loop would be, or else inner for loop would be for columns. Okay, inner would be for columns, and then you know, upper would be for rows. So how many rows are available? Five rows, and you know, see here. Here I am taking for int i is equal to j is equal to zero. J less than i I am taking. J less than or equal to i. This is a simple logic you people need to build here. Okay, here see, console dot write of j, or else uh, j value, and here we need to take as console dot write line. See here, what is the meaning of this? I'll explain you people. See, why it is coming zero zero one in the sense each and every time whenever we are doing this kind of programs, the values of indexes need to starts with one. Simple. And after that, after displaying other values, you want some space in a sense. You can able to do the space. You can able to take the space like this. Okay. See, this is what we are expected, right? One, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, like this. Am I right? See, what logic we have written? We'll try to understand. What is the value of i, all of you? What is the value of j? 
1 so i less than or equal to j 1 less than or equal to 1 is true right yeah so at that time the value of j is what so you are displaying 1 now am i right again the value of yeah. j would be j plus plus and em avutadamma 2 avutadi 2 less than or equal to 1 is false am i right yeah so the condition would be fail it will goes to the upper for loop and upper for loop the value of i would be 1 it will be plus plus it will become as 2 correct mm -hmm. i told you people again the j value would be starts with 0 i mean that means lower boundary what is the lower boundary for us that is 1 so 1 is less than or equal to 2 am i right true or false So the condition is true. It will going to display the value of j. What is the j value here? One. So here we are displaying one. Correct. Again, the value of j would become two. So the condition also true. So whenever the condition true, we need to display like this. <laughs> And again, the value of j would become as three. Three less than two is false. So it is coming outside of it, and it will goes to the new line because of this console dot right line. and again the value of j i will become as 3 and uh, you know this will be 1 so 1 less than 3 would be 1 less than 3 would be here the value of 5 would be 3 now so 1 less than 3 true we are going to display 1 and again 2 and again 3 and the same way 1 2 3 4 4 and all those things clear the same way 1 2 3 4 5 5 now you people tell me I want one, two, two, three, three, four. I mean, each and every row other than one, one, two, and all those things. I want like this. What need to change here, all of you? What value we need to display? Either y or j. Y. 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 Y
like Wells Fargo and all those things. Even when I when I approach to the proxy of Wells Fargo, those people will ask these kind of questions only. They need the basics more important. See here, see here, many things. Okay, try to build a program like this pyramid also. Okay, this is more important. These things are most important. See here, the complicated logic. See, try to understand these kind of things. It will be, it will, if you make JS then make programming, then make interest us today. You can, you people can able to enjoy the programming. I'll share it with you people, this link in the WhatsApp. I'll, I'll share it with you in the chat window of uh, GoToMeeting. Okay, try to do it if you have a time, but I'm not insisting you people to complete this. But try to complete this program. That is more than enough for me. Okay. Take the screenshot of this. Make it fast. Completed. Yes. Yeah. Now we'll see the last one. Last type of an array is jagged array. Okay. Jagged array. As of now, whatever we have discussed, those things are 1D array and 2D array. Coming to the jagged array, jagged array in the sense it's an array of arrays. It is an array of arrays. Actually, it will not be usable anymore in the programs now. Okay, I mean the syntax and the working with the jagged array is entirely different. See here, all of you. Jagged array in the sense we need to take like this. Int of a is equal to new int of c. Again, we need to take like this. There is no value here. The row and column. See. We need, we need not to take anything here. See, array of arrays, I told you, right? One, and again, see, two. In the same row, we'll be having different values. See, I'm taking one. Again, see, one more row I'm declaring. In the same row, again, I'm declaring some other value. See, row itself, this is a row, row syntax, right? We have taken like this, am I right? I'm taking like this, right? Int of a is equal to new int of three comma three. I have taken am I right? Three comma three. Now here I'm taking like this, right? One two three and four five six. Okay, this is the row. Inside of the row itself, we have another row, another uh, array syntax. See, this is an array. Inside of array, one more array is there. Okay, the array of arrays would be calling as jagged arrays. Don't focus much on this. If anyone asks you in the interviews, like what is the meaning of jagged array in the sense, you just need to answer them that it's a jagged array in the sense, it's an array of arrays. That's it. I mean, it, the, the concept will not be useful also. So totally three types of arrays would be available. One is three types of arrays would be available. One is 1D array and second is 2D array and third is jagged array. Okay. We, anyhow, we have discussed about the programs of all these things. The jagged array is not helpful. And today's task for you people is, I told you people, right, the arrays programs, like, you know, the predefined methods are available, like some minimum, maximum, sort, and all those things. Along with this, the predefined methods, for each and every predefined method, you people try to write the logic behind the method methods, okay? So, use the predefined method the same way, you build your own logic for this, all for all the methods, okay? That is the first one. And second one is, I told you people to give the star, right? The reverse way, reverse order of the star, and then you know, the above that. That's like a pyramid. Okay, try to build these two. Okay, clear all of you. And in tomorrow's class, we will going to see what is the disadvantages of arrays and how to overcome the disadvantages of arrays with the help of collections. And one more thing, tomorrow my morning class will not be there. Tomorrow my evening will take uh, around you know 9:30, 9:30 p.m. IST will going to take the class. Okay. Clear all of you? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Complete, complete all these things. I'll upload the video into the YouTube and I'll share the link maximum in 30 minutes, okay? Yeah. Okay.